Thank you for being here, dear soul. I'm Kenneth. With a smile in my heart, I welcome you to this guided meditation. I am humbled, honored, and privileged for this opportunity to be your guide now. Thank you for your trust. Make yourself comfortable now. At any time, you are free to move, breathe. And adjust your position and body posture as you flow deeper into this journey. You can close your eyes if you want to, and allow yourself to let go of the need to do anything. There is no right or wrong way to do this. There is only one way that is right for you, and that is your way. Of going deeper into that deeper part of you, in a safe and natural way. Your unconscious mind has already started that process of activating resources within you, so that you will get exactly what you need on this journey. While your conscious mind. May be curious, curious, excited, or just deeply aware of this present moment. Forgiveness is a word that has different meaning for different people. To forgive means to release us from low vibrational energy and negative emotions from the past. That are keeping us stuck as we subconsciously relive our past every minute of every day. To forgive doesn't mean that what happened was okay, because it wasn't. It doesn't justify anything. The other person involved doesn't get away with anything. In no way, shape, or form is resenting the past protecting you in the present. To forgive isn't about the other person or situation. Forgiving is about setting boundaries because you choose to love and respect yourself. The opposite is self-punishment, pure cruelty to oneself. Like the Buddha once said, holding on to resentment. Anger and bitterness is like drinking poison every day, and expecting the other person to die. During this process, it's up to you if you want to let go or not. You decide. You are here for a reason. You are embarking on a powerful. And deeply healing journey with me now. It's healing on soul level. It's healing of the heart. It's healing of all layers of your energy field. All the cells in your body. Transforming the cells in your body. Transforming your consciousness. Expanding to higher consciousness. Expanding to higher consciousness. I believe that you are ready, simply because you are here. And know that I am here with you, along the way. We are in this together, you and I. Let's do a short sequence of deep breathing. Imagine breathing life force in through your feet and in through the top of your head simultaneously, and the life force gathers in your heart, and hold it inside your heart for a few moments, and exhale from your heart slowly now. Imagine breathing out light from your heart, 
into your energy field and into your surroundings. One more time now, breathe in through your feet and through the top of your head, inhaling the life force into your heart. And hold. Then exhale slowly now sending light from your heart, radiating it all around you. And if you feel like it, you can continue to breathe like this for a few moments, or you can allow your breathing to flow in your natural rhythm. And from now on, your unconscious mind perceives every inhale as a sign to send waves of relaxing white light into your muscles, fibers and cells. And every exhale allows you to drift deeper and deeper into that part of your unconscious mind that knows everything, that part of you that knows how to heal deeply and you're doing good and you're doing good imagine yourself standing on a beautiful field of grass and flowers and ahead of you there are mountains and you breathe in that high vibrational air all that life energy going into your body and into your bloodstream and start walking towards the mountains now observing and absorbing the colors of the flowers and maybe there are some colors that stand out and your unconscious mind uses that color to activate the balancing of your body and mind. And maybe you can get a sense of the ground that you are walking on, how it feels under your feet, while you are moving closer and closer to the mountains. There is one mountain that seems to beckon you, calling on you, and you start to walk in its direction. And there's a small patch of beautiful majestic trees that you need to walk through before you reach the base of the mountain. Enjoying this place now, breathing in the serene peace and wisdom radiating from the trees, the ground, the mountains and the air around you. And a part of you feeling a sense of belonging, a sense of oneness or something else as you move closer and closer to that mountain in front of you, deepening that sense of connection and belonging. Imagine the mountain right there in front of you now, reaching high up to the sky, and you can feel the strength, the steadiness, and the grounding energy of that mountain. Imagine walking all the way to it now and put one of your hands on the mountain. As you do so, to your surprise, a carving of a door lights up right in front of you. And the door starts to open now. And the most harmonious green light starts to emanate from your heart towards that door. It's the energy of unconditional love that resides within the center of your heart. This door has activated and opened up the portal to your heart center now. You feel safe 
you are protected by an energy of peace and knowing. Because the wisdom and love that abides in your heart center is the key that unlocks and opens all doors, the key that aligns you with your divinity. Imagine walking into the door and into a beautiful corridor inside the mountain, and you are met by the most serene and peaceful energy, and that energy is reassuring you that it's safe to trust and allow yourself to flow with the experience. Imagine a ball of light floating towards you. It hovers in front of you, and it transforms into a three-year-old child. It's you. It's the three-year-old you. The little you smiles at you, and grabs you around your feet with both arms, hugging you. That little you looks up into your eyes, reflecting love, pure love. Imagine lifting that beautiful child up, and you give each other the most pure, warm, and loving embrace that you have ever experienced. And if there is something you feel like saying to that little you, you can do that. You sense the purity of that magnificent light being holding you now. The little you wants to show you something. You put that precious child down, and the little you eagerly and joyously run in front of you. As you walk, crystals, symbols, and ancient writings are appearing on the walls, the ground, and ceiling. And while your conscious mind may not know what the symbols and writing mean, your unconscious mind. Has access to other dimensions of wisdom and understanding, and your subconscious mind has already begun the process of activating hidden knowledge, an ancient wisdom within you that is ready to awaken. That's why you are here, awakening now. Imagine the crystals illuminating the path ahead of you. And the whole corridor. Imagine trickling water of the most radiant blue color, flowing down the mountain walls inside the corridor. In front of you, there is an opening. Golden light is radiating from the opening. You walk towards it. And imagine as you are reaching the end of the corridor now. You are standing in front of a huge pyramid. There is a column of golden light flowing into the top of the pyramid, from an opening on the mountain ceiling. And it spreads through thousands of tiny pathways in the ground that you are standing on. Like thousands of blood vessels, which golden liquid light is flowing through. It is your light, the pure, magnificent light from your soul. There's just a deep sense of being welcomed, like this place has been waiting for you. It knows you, all of you. It accepts you, all of you. 
you are accepted and loved. Imagine four huge pillars surrounding the pyramid, forming a quadrant, circulating the golden light from the universe, from your soul. Each pillar represents each of your four bodies, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body. The pyramid itself is your higher self. This is your sacred healing chamber. The little you takes your hand, looks at you, and points to a door at the base of the pyramid. You start walking toward it, hand in hand. The door opens automatically, leading you into a new corridor of the most spectacular colors, dancing and moving in harmony with the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. And as you walk towards the center of the pyramid, the three-year-old you tells you that you are walking through the universal corridor of unconditional forgiveness. That little you knows about all that you have gone through from the beginning of time. That little you knows every person who you unconsciously or consciously have not forgiven. And that little you reminds you that forgiving is about you. It's about your freedom and your sense of inner peace and harmony within. You are the keeper of the freedom key to free yourself. You have free will to free yourself from the chains of the past. You don't need to free yourself, but you can. And I wonder if you can imagine now, as you are almost at the center of the pyramid, you notice that both of you have a chain around your waist. And the chain is connected to a heavy, anchor that you are dragging along with you. And that anchor represents all the stuff from the past that you are carrying in you, that you are ready to let go of. And you keep going. And you are doing good. Approaching the center now. You are walking into your soul's healing chamber. As you do so, the column of golden light in the center of the pyramid turns into violet light. A violet flame lighting up the inside of your soul's healing chamber. The violet flame is inviting you to come inside and stand in its center. The little brave you looks at you nodding, and you pick that little you up and you start to walk towards the violet light. Right before you enter it, imagine reaching into the violet flame with one of your hands, sensing that powerful healing energy. Sensing that powerful healing energy. Walk into it now and breathe in the healing violet flame. Know that you are entirely safe inside the column of violet flame. Imagine your body almost becoming a bit transparent because you have entered another dimension. Imagine now, as you stand in the center of the violet flame, that from the corridor of unconditional forgiveness arrives the innocent three-year-old versions of all the people that you can forgive to be free. A 
allow all to come forth as innocent small children. It can be parents, teachers, friends, siblings, co-workers, and others that you never thought would show up here. Just allow yourself to go with it while your unconscious mind brings up those souls that need to come forth now. They all gather outside the column. Those children are all in need of love, to be seen, heard, and understood. The little children in front of you are doing the best they can. They are all here to learn, just like you. As children and adults, they are doing the best they can on the level of consciousness and awareness they operate at. We are all on different levels. On soul level, it's all about learning, healing and growth. Nothing is right nor wrong. It's all about accumulating experiences that trigger you to align with your soul, your true self. On a higher level, you all planned and chose to interact in this way. The higher the level you're at, the more you start to understand and remember who you are. A soul in a human body. And as a soul on the higher levels, forgiveness is one of the main topics to master, along with acceptance, patience, tolerance, compassion, and unconditional love. The violet flame reminds you that you don't need to believe any of this. If you don't want to, that's okay. Just allow yourself to go with the process in whatever way feels right for you. And you're doing good. Imagine each of the children having a chain or a cord of some sort anchored to their bodies. And the cord of each child is connected to the chain around your waist. This cord is unbalanced energy between you and that child. It is a stagnant energy that keeps all of you stuck in dense karmic experiences. If you decide soon to cut the cord, then you will still be able to keep the loving connection and bond which you may have with several of those children. Soon, it's time to cut the negative karmic cords holding you back. If you for some reason don't feel ready to cut all of them, that is perfectly fine. You can come back to this sacred space and cut the remaining cords when you feel ready. Take your time. I am going to count from three to one. When I come to one, Imagine the violet flame flowing into your heart and into the chain around your waist and out to every cord connection to all the children. The violet flame represents the divine alchemy of transmutation. It has the ability to transmute energy into the highest vibrational frequency of light. Your subconscious mind will do this process for you in a safe and natural way. Three, two, one, now. The violet flame enters every cord connection that you are ready to let go of, dissolving them more and more. Transmuting the energy, transforming the energy freeing you from the chains of the past. As the cords dissolve, 
Imagine the violet light penetrating the heart of every child, and they receive the love and healing that they are ready for on the level they're at. Imagine the little you running out to some of the children, hugging them, and the grown-up you observe this from the column of violet flame, knowing that you are witnessing unconditional love in action. The violet flame is extracting energy from old thoughts and memories that you have been holding inside your muscles, your cells and your energy field. Cleansing old karmic patterns that you are free to let go of. Transmuting it into wisdom, courage and love. And every time you visit this place, standing in the violet flame, your unconscious mind will know what you are ready to let go of. As some challenges in life can be served in layers, like peeling an onion, layer by layer, the little you comes back into the violet flame and grabs your hand. Imagine sitting down on your knees in the same height as the little you. As you look out at the children, they are all turning into butterflies of light, flying out of the pyramid, out from the mountain finding their way home to their path. A complete sense of harmony and serenity enters the pyramid, as the violet flame that you are bathing in serves you words that enters all layers of your being. It is safe to forgive yourself fully and completely. You can forgive yourself now fully and completely. You allow forgiveness to enter your body, mind and heart now. I am free. Imagine the little you with teary eyes looking straight into your eyes, begging you to start forgiving everything that has ever happened that you may consciously or unconsciously hold on to without knowing. Allowing that process of forgiveness to unfold in your daily life as the days and weeks and months go by, just allowing it all to happen at a pace that is right for you. You don't need to know how to forgive and have the intention to forgive and let go. Your unconscious mind will do the work for you. Imagine as you hold a little you and that little child still looking at you saying, thank you for healing me. Thank you for listening and caring. Thank you for loving me like I love you. The little you and the grown up you become more and more transparent now and the little 
little you shrinks into the most beautiful sphere of light, which enters the chamber of pure unconditional love in your heart. Imagine taking a deep breath, inhaling the violet flame into your heart. And exhale peace and harmony. You start to walk out of the pyramid and inside the mountain, observing the four pillars, circulating the most beautiful, balanced light as a reflection, an indicator of the deep healing cleanse that you have gone through. A trail of golden light shows the way to the corridor leading you out of that mountain. You follow the trail of golden light and imagine the crystals illuminating even brighter than before, bathing you in pure light. And this time you especially notice the trickling water with the most radiant and beautiful blue color flowing down the mountain walls. Imagine putting both of your hands in the trickling stream of blue light, filling up your hands and washing your face with this water of divine love, wisdom and freedom. Imagine now stepping out of that mountain into the freshness of life. Breathing in the magic of life, noticing the beauty all around you and within you now. Walking steadily and balanced on your path like your feet are kissing the earth with each step. Take good care of yourself, dear soul. I see the light in you. <laughs>